Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Tuesday, June 23rd, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And you are either on 93.5 FM listening to us live or you are listening to us live on Facebook or maybe later on on Facebook. But either way, the good news for you is that you are officially now cruising with the case handler. My name is Adam Handler. I'm a partner of Paul Polk Isaac DeSico. I handle the personal injury cases and have personally recovered over the course of my career over $120 million for victims of negligence, car accidents, construction accidents, workplace accidents, slip and falls. Uh, my partners who are on this show with me right now, well, some of my partners on the show with me right now, Conrad Pollock and Nelson Madrid, we call Conrad the maestro. Why? Not only is he a very talented piano player, but he is certainly the, uh, the orchestrator of, that even is a real word, he, the, but the architect of uh, Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico took over the firm from his father uh, about 36 years ago and has built it into an absolute powerhouse here in New York City. Uh, Nelson Madrid, we call him the Maverick. Why? Because he flies by his own rules, right? He want to buzz the tower whenever he wants to buzz the tower. He's going to buzz the tower. He handles the deportations uh, and the tougher uh, immigration cases at our firm and uh, knows the rules inside out and will get you the best possible result, of course, and doing it, making you feel like family. And that's really the overriding concept of our firm. We are a large firm, but we handle it like we are a small firm. That means attention to detail and attention, most importantly, to the client, you, because we understand you have one chance, one choice to get it right. And you choose Pollock, Pollock, Isaac DeSico, the case handler, Adam Handler, Nelson Madrid, Conrad Pollock, Matt Goodstein, Brian Isaac, Fred DeSico, whoever it is, you can uh, rest easy knowing that you're going to be treated like a father, mother, father, mother, sister, brother, cousin, whatever it is. Uh, we're here for you. Our phone number is 844-774-3529, 844 844-774-3529. We are uh, just getting the week started. We had a great show yesterday. Uh, I know we've got a lot to talk about today, especially with some recent news coming from the top down with respect to immigration and the lack thereof, I should say. But the good news is for you, the weather is shining. Uh, the sun is shining. The weather is sweet. We're here to move your dancing feet and to the rescue. Here we are, David. Good morning to you. Thanks for uh, letting us uh, take a few minutes of your platform and your airtime to let people know what we're doing here at Paul Paul Guys at Seco. Good morning, my attorney Adam Handler, who I called at 12 o'clock last night. Okay, and I sent him a video. Okay, and we'll talk more about that later on. It's a potential uh, personal injury case that I um, I recommended someone to Adam about um, to to handle last night. And, you know, I, I, thanks a lot for introducing the panel. And thanks a lot, as usual, Adam, for doing this. But I, I wanted to just jump on this because I, I want to reiterate something that you said and you all said. So a friend of mine reached out to me last night and she said that she was in a terrible car accident. And, and I sent Adam the, the, the video of the car accident. The car is on, it's, it's flipped over. So it's upside down and the whole nine yards. This happened this past Saturday and she was completely bent out of shape the hospital the whole nine yards and she's like uh, i've heard you with the attorneys on the radio i don't know what to do she said that she has had well over 10 different attorneys call her okay offering upfront monies what the hell is that all about adam yeah it's uh it's attorneys that really have uh no other way of getting business themselves you know uh, the law business is a reputation and referral based business uh lawyers can advertise of course you see billboards you see tv ads you see like we here have here uh, radio uh marketing um but then there's the people that just you know either can't do it or don't want to do it or want to cut corners and uh, they figure out ways to cheat, and uh, that's either coming up to you at the scene of the accident or having somebody uh, in the emergency room. You know, they have a lot of nurses and techs uh, that may say, hey, you were in a car accident. Hey, by the way, you should give this lawyer a call because they get a kickback as well. 
Um, it's unethical, it's illegal. Um, and if that's the way you wanna start your case uh, by somebody uh, that's cheating and cutting the corners, then I wish you absolutely the best of luck. And I look forward to you calling me later on saying, uh, I'm not happy with my lawyer, or I look forward to you calling me saying, uh, my lawyer settled it for $5,000. Uh, do you think you can get me more? Uh, the answer to all of those questions will be nope. no, because uh, you have only one chance to get it right. And we, like I just said, one choice of attorney. Uh, you could always switch attorneys downstream, but I, I got to tell you that most of the times somebody calls me, I'm um, having been with another lawyer, things are so screwed up by the time they get to me that a lot of times I'll just say, thanks, but no thanks. Please save my number if God forbid you ever need it or somebody else you ever needs it in the future. But uh, you know, lawyers, uh, all lawyers are not created equal. Uh, we have a wonderful uh, client base and we are truly blessed with uh, a wonderful reputation that people come to us with all the legal problems, but not every lawyer has that. And if they have to pay $500 to the tow truck operator, you know, to get a client, you know, that's, uh, I guess that's their prerogative, but they also stand to lose their law license. And I plan on doing this for a very long time. And my wife likes nice things. So I don't know if I could afford uh, to not be a lawyer uh, in the foreseeable future. So I plan and pledge to you out there that I'm going to do it the right way. Uh, and that's by taking the phone calls and working on the cases rather than making the phone calls and, and trying to take your case. Uh, my number is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW. We are a full service law firm. Uh, many of you have been listening to me on the radio. I've been on the radio for uh, 15 years now. I'm I, I, we should call it, I, I, David, am I the longest running attorney on this radio station yet? Is that, is that a fact? I, I don't want to, I don't want any fake news. All no right. Fake news. Consistently, no fake news. consistently. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think I, I may be declared the heavyweight champion of the world. Yep. The longest running attorney on this station, certainly the most celebrated attorney. And, Definitely. uh, you know, I can talk more about myself for, for, the next hour, but I have a feeling that uh, the Maverick and the Maestro uh, will grow uh, quickly tired of that. So with that being said, and I will give out the number one more time and remember and remind everybody out there that since the pandemic hit, uh, we have made a commitment and a pledge to the community that has embraced us over the decades to giving out 100% free advice over the phone. That's right, 100% free consultations over the phone, no strings attached. The only thing we ask respectfully and with great gratitude is that if we are able to help you, you give us the opportunity to do so. And you give us the chance to show you how real practicing attorneys handle the law business. And our phone number is 844 774 3529. That's 844 774 3529. There is a tidal wave of bad news approaching the shores of the United States of America when it comes to immigration. And I know Conrad and Nelson um, are, are eager to get the information out. Obviously, not happy about it, but this show is about information and, and informing you yep. about what is coming. So, ladies and gentlemen, Pay very close attention to what you're about to hear over the next 30 and 40 minutes because it stands to change your life and your family's life. 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID-LAW. As a matter of fact, before they take over, um, the attorneys, the immigration attorneys take over, I got to remind you folks, if you do call that number now, you will get a 100% free phone consultation off the air privately and confidentially right with one of the immigration attorneys the number right now to get that free consultation if you're interested in hearing an answer okay based on your immigration question that you've been itching to ask the number is 844-774-3529 however i would suggest that you call before 9 a.m call 
844-774-3529. You can ask for the attorneys by name. You can ask for Conrad Paula. You can ask for Nelson Madrid. You can ask for Andrea. You can ask for Shruti. I can go on, okay? Ye, once again, the number 844-774-3529. 844-774-3529. Adam Handler is a personal injury attorney. He doesn't like to tout himself enough or you know a lot, but it's true. He is the best when it comes to personal injury, all right? So make sure you link up with him, 844-774-3529. If you get hurt in an accident and you want the maximum, the most money out of it, 844-774-3529. All right, so it's time to talk about what that orange guy in the White House has been doing. Okay, we need to hear every day. Is it possible that one day I can't turn my television on and and on every network I do not, or even one network I do not hear about the orange guy, it's impossible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the immigration attorneys. We just spoke on personal injury and immigration, but we want to jump right into it. What's happening, Conrad Pollock? I know you always bring us up to speed with the news, and then, of course, Nelson will just give his piece, okay? All right? So what's going on? I think Conrad may be having some issues over there with his... Internet. Nelson, why don't you... You want to take the helmet, Nelson? Up, I was asking for the news. But sure. you want to take so, the helmet? So basically, um, what Conrad has been talking about for the last couple of weeks um, became a reality. Uh, Trump extended his travel ban. Um, you know, he's claiming, again, it's uh, to, to help the U.S. economy. Um, but pretty much, you know, H-1B, H-2B, J visa, L visa, um, there is, he extended the ban. So those people will no longer be allowed into the United States. Um, Trump or the administration believes that they are taking jobs away from American workers. Um, so I think this will just make it more difficult for people to uh, enter the United States. Sorry about that. Okay. I was cleaning my camera there. Okay. My apologies. Also, another, another, change, another change worth noting, which I think is important, um, asylum applicants. Uh, yeah. Previously, if you were an applicant for asylum or if you had filed an asylum application, 150 days after filing that application, you were eligible for employment authorization. Now, the administration has said you basically have to wait 365 days in order to apply for an employment authorization. Um, and that's important, obviously, because when people enter the United States, they have to work. If you don't work, how are you going to support yourself? How are you going to pay your attorneys? How are you going to support your family? Um, so all of these are changes. And um, again, simply an extension an extension of the previous ban, but it's changes that obviously affect many people. So let me see this question, Nelson. Right now, uh, is, it, is it in effect yet that no new visas will be issued or is it about to go into effect? That No, it's basically an extension. So it basically, he had issued this proclamation previously and he's just extending it. So it's kind of an overlap. Basically, no new visas will be is that for every country in the world? Uh, yes. Uh, if, I, if I could interrupt, I, I'm having technical difficulties with yeah, my internet that. today, guys. You sound good Sorry. now. Um, yeah, I, I changed locations. Um, all right, so basically what happened last night, uh, Trump issued a new proclam proclamation, which, two things. It extends the travel ban that he initially implemented on April 22nd. Um, so that travel ban, which basically affected those persons looking to get green cards that are outside the United States that are being sponsored by uh, their permanent resident parents or spouse or um, anything involving permanent resident making the application. And if the, if the applicant was outside the United States, those people were banned from getting a green card. He extended that, which of course we knew. I mean, they say it's temporary. They extended that till the end of the year. If he gets reelected, I, I pretty much assure you it'll be extended beyond the end of the year. Um, just like with the Muslim ban, which also was temporary when he first came into office, it's still going on, right? Three years later, 
So, you know, temporary doesn't mean a lot to this administration. Uh, more importantly, uh, the new aspect of the ban has to do with temporary visas. Um, they've ex extended the ban to people applying for H-1B visas, which are pro professionals, degreed professionals, computer tech people, engineers, architects, you name it. Any, any type of position requiring a college degree, they're banned. Uh, H-2B visas, which I think will have a significant impact on the, on, on the listeners out there, because there are a lot of Caribbean folk coming into the United States with H-2B visas, or at least that were coming in with H-2B visas. They're banned as well. Um, H-2Bs typically are for, the, uh, for uh, positions that don't typically require a degree. Um, could be agricultural workers, uh, you know, landscapers, um, you know, guys, you know, working at resorts, uh, hotels, uh, down in Maryland, the guys at the, the crabbers that, that catch all the crabs down in, in, in Chesapeake. How about, uh, anything, and anything and nannies. even, wait, well, I'm getting there. Even Mar-a-Lago, Trump himself has used continuously, basically uses, he takes four or 5,000 H2B visas every year. That's a shock that he actually banned H2Bs because now he's going to hurt himself. Although I'm sure there'll be some work around that they'll, they'll be able to get his workers in somehow. Anyway, uh, so H1s, H2s, uh, J1, uh, Adam, uh, J1 visas are all pairs, um, te temporary um, trainees, uh, banned. So if you want an au pair housekeeper, uh, not happening. Uh, you have to get it from the U.S. labor market, if you could believe it. I, he, they're actually saying that those people are taking jobs away from American workers. Um, and L1s. L1s are yeah, but most Americans don't want to do that job anyway. Of course not. Of course yeah. not. I, you know a lot of Americans doing landscaping these days? Same thing. You know a lot of, Ameri you know a lot of Americans picking apples upstate New York these days? I don't. Only, anyway, only Adams, uh, only Adams' neighbor, and Adams' friend. Yeah. Well, anyway, also L one V L one visas have been banned as well. Those intercompany transferees, these are executives, all right? right. Ban them as well. So those four immigrant visa, ca uh, non-immigrant visa categories, temporary work visas, are banned for the rest of the year. Now there are, I, I hate to call them loopholes, um, but there are potential ways around this. All of these bans apply to people outside the United States. So if you're in the United States, you're exempt. Doesn't apply to you. You might not want to leave the country because it might be difficult getting back in. Um, in addition, uh, in addition to having, you know, you had to be outside the United States last night at midnight in order to be subject to the bar. And if you have a visa, if you have a tourist visa, if you have a student visa, if you have an H1 or H2B visa, and you're actually in or outside the United States, in order to be I'm not being clear. In order to for the ban to affect you, number one, you have to be outside the United States as of last night, and you did not have a valid non-immigrant visa as of midnight last night. So if you're in the United States, you're exempt. If you have a visa, if you have an H-2B visa in your passport already or an H-1 visa in your passport already, and even if you're outside the United States, the way I read the, 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 the ban, you're not subject. The, the way the ban reads, and I think this was a mistake on their part, clumsy drafting as usual with every one of their pr proclamations they put out, there are always unintended uh, benefits because they're just so clumsy in the way they do things. But the way I read it and the way most other immigration lawyers that I'm talking to reads this, um, you have to, in order to be subject to the ban, it, 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 you have to be outside the United States and not in possession of a visa. So if you have either one of those, if you're in the US or if you have a visa, you're not subject to the ban. That's my interpretation, which is good news. Um, but fact is, we're stuck with this till the end of the year. Regardless, there'll be, I'm sure, litigation. There's going to be a lot of back and forth. But that is the latest. Just happened last night. And you know, I'm in a lot of uh, different immigration uh, chat groups. And <laughs> it was going on all night long, all around the country, all around the world. Just immigration lawyers chiming in with different interpretations of this stupidity. Uh, uh, of, of this proclamation. Because again, as Nelson said, um, yes, the pretext for this is, and of course the first paragraph or two of the, of the proclamation as you read it, and Trump goes into how he wants to protect American workers and how these foreign workers coming in are a direct threat to these American workers and they're gonna take their jobs and so on. But the fact is 
the proclamation, bade the ban, everything that's been banned, word for word. It is exactly what the administration has been trying to do since the day that they started their administration. Not one change. It's exactly word for word what they've been trying to do long before the pandemic hit. They're just using the pandemic as an excuse to get what they want, period. And this is going to have severe repercussions on the U.S. economy. I mean, you think about the different uh, immigrants that have come in here and what they've contributed to our society. Elon Musk, immigrant. Tesla immigrant all i I mean i i can't even tell you how many different people in silicon valley are immigrants themselves and that brought their technology to the united states what's going to happen now especially if this if if this guy gets reelected, where are these people going to go if they can't come here they're going to go to canada they're going to go to germany they're going to go to england they might go to china all right where does that leave us it's just it's so incredibly stupid. What about the a lot of people have been going to Germany and Canada. Yeah, those it's two. just so incredibly what, stupid and self-defeating. It's just beyond belief. What about extensions of visas? If you're here right now and you have a visa, are there any issues with extending visas? Again, well, that's a good question. It depends, again, if you have a visa, if you're outside the United States. If you're outside the United States right now and don't have a valid visa and you applied for an extension, you're out. If you're in the United States... You're in. You can we, continue and that we, extension. And we can, if you're in the United States and have a valid visa, we can help with the extensions. That are Absolutely. Program. Again, the way I read this, the, the way I read the proclamation, you have to have both of those criteria to be subject to the ban. Outside the United States last night and not in possession of a valid visa. So if you're in the United States right now and you have a tourist visa, you're, you, you're good. You can't leave, but you can go ahead and apply for whatever visa it is that you want to apply for, and you can do it you're outside the United States without a visa, even if you had one, you left and you've been, and I'm sure this is going to come up, we're going to see cases like this. You had an H2 or an H1, you left the country and then all of this stuff hit and the consulates got closed. Meanwhile, you're applying for an extension and it's still pending, or even if it got approved. If you don't have that visa, you're out. Even if immigration approves the application, you don't have that visa stamp in your passport, you are out. So Conrad, it's going to cause a lot of hardship. Does this, does this also apply to... Uh... F2B applicants and priority. Yes. As I was, well, that's that's been in, in, in effect since April 22nd. Right. Any any preference based classifications for the green cards. Adam and I were talking about temporary temporary workers, not green cards. But as far as green cards, that's been in effect since since April 22nd. Any preference application, first preference, first preference, which is a citizen applying for uh, unmarried son or daughter over 21, out. F2A is a green card applying for a spouse or a minor child under 21, out. Uh, F2B, permanent resident father or mother applying for an adult unmarried uh, son or daughter over 21, out. Third preference, um, uh, married son or daughter of a U.S. citizen, out. Fourth preference, applying for your sibling, out. The U.S. So, citizen applying so for So that sibling, means out. Ev- even if your application was approved, you're basically not coming to the United States. If you're outside the United States, that's correct. Now, well, look, uh, this ban is not going to last forever, all right? And hopefully if this guy doesn't get reelected, it'll end quickly, all right? So, uh, look, it's going to end at some point. A, a, a perfect example of what I'm, about, what I'm about to say, if you're a U.S. citizen applying for your parent, uh, applying for your child, that could take 10 years. The ban is not going to be in effect for 10 years. You can still put your petition in and get it in and get on the list or get on the line waiting because it would be silly not to. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's going to cause hardship for those people that have already been waiting for 10 years and can't complete their case because of this ban. The ones that are not subject to the ban are spouses of U.S. citizens or children of U.S. citizens. So if you're a U.S. citizen applying for your spouse or applying for your kids, under 21, those are admitting relatives. Those are not preference cases. You can still do the case even if the applicant is outside the United States. However, U.S. citizens normally can apply for their parents. If the parents are outside the United States, no good. Can't get them. Can't Let me get jump in and give that number. Uh, yeah. Our phone number, listen, we give out a lot of information and sometimes we get on a roll and hopefully yeah, we, you guys we are all yeah. listening and tuning in. Um, but let me give that number out. Do it again. I'm sorry, Squeeze, what did you say? I said a lot of people are tuning in right now. I mean, especially on Facebook and also tuning in right here at 93.5. The phone number for our firm and, and, and to be able to uh, really 
dive into this conversation more with a, with a practicing attorney uh, is 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529 or easy to remember 844-PPID law. Uh, that's how you get connected to us. We'll set up a phone consultation 100%, no strings attached for free. Um, and you can speak to uh, the panel of immigration attorneys and let us know, you know what's going on with your uh, particular situation. And we'll certainly let you know um, how uh, we can help you. And if we can help you, you know, there's, there's instances I'm sure that we're gonna say, sorry, there's just nothing that can be done. And that's either based on something that was mishandled on your immigration case to begin with, or maybe just a, a general policy issue uh, with respect to uh, you know the government and and, uh, and the and the proclamations, but again, our phone number is eight four four seven seven four three five two nine or eight four four P P I D law. You know what? It's it's so upsetting, Conrad. It's so upsetting, Nils. It's so upsetting, Adam. You know that you know for 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 decades, I've actually been doing. I I, I have the longest running immigration talk show. Period in the United States. And it's so upsetting, you know, that I come here every day and we're on the radio and we're, we're trying to help people. And we have a guy out there that genuinely is trying in, in my own words to hurt people. I mean, it's all these, it's, it's not just hurting. <laughs> it's hurting everybody. It's hurting everybody. I mean, I know, but, we're talking but, about work that needs to get done and people can't get those jobs. We're talking about people want to better their families and, and all of that. I mean, what happened to the, the American dream? Well, this what is why people need to get out there. In the world? People now, need to get out there and vote. I'm getting so sure. sick and tired of us talking about this, saying, oh, we're taking these punches, taking these punches. What are you going to do, ladies and gentlemen? There's yes, thousands exactly. of people listening right now. What the hell are you going to do about it, right? What are we opinion, doing about it? You have you have two you have two options, right? And for those of you who have had the opportunity to become citizens, right? You vote. For those of you who have had the opportunity to become citizens and have not, shame on you because yeah, you have no right man. to make Seriously. any complaints because you have no ability to change anything for yourself. If you have the availability to become a citizen in this country, and you have not been doing it for one way or one reason or another, shame on you, your fault. But if you have the ability to change your life and change your family's life and change all these things we're talking about, pick up the phone and give us a call and let us know what's going on so we can help you help yourself. The consultation is free. There's it's nothing free. to lose. You There's have nothing no to lose. Free. After that, you can choose to hire them, but. I, I am so annoyed and upset, you know, as to this president, but here's what you can do something as Adam said, as Nelson said, as Conrad said, vote if you can vote. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's very important. Change will not come unless we create change. And also if you have not called the law firm and ask your immigration question, maybe you ask it elsewhere. Come on, who are you really hurting? Yourself, Shame your family, you. and others. Shame on you for not picking up the phone. The phone call is 100% free. There's no risk to you at all. No reason why you shouldn't have what you believe to be the best possible attorney fighting for your family's rights and your rights. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529 or 844-PPID law. If you have the opportunity to do something, and you don't do it, shame on you. Shame yeah. on you. Yeah. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the number is 844-774-3529. This show, Cruising with the Case Handler, comes your way 8.30 a.m. each and every single weekday. We speak on personal injury. We speak on immigration. We speak on you dialing this number now and saving it or getting a free immigration consultation or a consultation with the Adam Handler, the personal injury attorney. 844-774-3529. That's 844-PPID-LAW. It's 9 o'clock. All right. We're on Facebook, ladies and gentlemen. So much happening in the world right now with immigration. I'm very happy. Um, Conrad, thank you so much for expounding on that. Thank you for initiating it, Nelson. We have a lot of ground to cover here with a few questions, and then we come and we get a true success story from our top personal injury attorney, 
in the tri-state area, probably the nation. Once again, cruising with a case handler. Let's get to the first question on immigration for Nelson or Conrad. Uh, first question here on immigration says, I got visa earlier this year, F-21 spouse of LPR, expiring in June. I have been unable to travel as flights were canceled. Am I affected by this proclamation? Yes. No. Where, where, where are they? You didn't say. Well, if they're in Jamaica, they are. If they're in Jamaica, in the States, if if they're Jamaica, Jamaica yeah. Well, that, it depends. I mean, you might. You, Nelson is probably correct, but you need to see, we need to know what he has in his passport. If he was already approved, if he already has a stamp, an I-551 stamp, well, he wouldn't have an I-551 stamp. If he already has the visa approval papers and he hasn't entered the country since his visa interview, he should be allowed in. Um, if he hasn't been approved, if he's still waiting for an actual approval notice from the consulate, then he's not going to be approved. All right? If he's in the United States already, he, he, he's not subject. Wow. All right. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, uh, here's another one. And by the way, the phone number for everybody, call right now and get that free consultation. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Make the call, make the link, make it Conrad, make it Nelson, make it um, Andrea, make it one of the immigration attorneys. 844-PPIDLAW. With everything that's going on, once again, get the free consultation. Do not do your case yourself. Have one of the attorneys handle it, all right? I'm telling you, all right? Uh, here's a second question. Uh, I got my permanent residency in 2019. Visa category is EB3, but I got married in 2018. My lawyer suggested that I file form I-824. Follow to join for my husband. Hold on, wait, stop, 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 stop. Tell me, say that again, start. I know where this is going. Tell me, get, start over. I got my permanent residency in 2019. The visa category right. is EB3, but right. I got married in 2018. My right. lawyer suggested that I file for I-824 to follow to join for my husband who is out of the country. We did file the form and went through the whole process and finally got our DQ with NBC on April 24th. Does anyone know if my husband's case is affected by the new ban? Man, yep. a lot of ban questions here. Yes, he's, he's affected. All right, uh, unless he's been approved already, he's coming in. Look, it's a preference case. It's an EW, EB3 is a third preference case. It's an employment-based case. Um, they're subject. Um, and he's coming in as her accompanying spouse. Uh, if he didn't get approved already, he's subject. He's not coming. Wow. Once again, you just heard the voice of Conrad Pollock. Okay. Managing partner at the firm, 844-774-3529. If you want to speak with him or one of the other attorneys like the Maverick, a.k.a. Nelson Madrid. 844 PPID LAW. Coming up in a matter of 120 seconds or so, we've got Adam Handler, the case handler, aka the shark, with a true success story. I'll give him access right now. Um, here's another one Can you secure a green card for a parent who was deported in the past, uh, Nelson? Um, it depends why they were deported. You know, if, um, if they committed a crime and you need some sort of waiver, uh, typically. Uh, for a waiver, you need either a parent, a spouse, or a child. Um, if you're petitioning for your parent, you're not a child, I would need more facts. Okay. You know, you, also, could file, you could file a petition. I, it doesn't mean that they will be able to come back. Again, I, I need more facts. I need to know exactly why the person was deported. Was it unlawful presence? Was it based on a criminal issue? I, I, I need more facts. Okay, and also, I agree with you more, Also... More. In, adi in addition to that, even if it was a minor crime, even if he can get a waiver, he's subject to the ban. Parents are subject to the ban. If they're outside the United States, they're subject to the travel ban. So even if everything else is perfect and everything gets done properly, they're subject to the travel ban. Now, to get the waiver, to get the petition going, it's going to take a year, two years, maybe longer. So hopefully by that time, there is no more travel ban, which is a reason why this person should pursue the process no matter what. The travel ban is temporary. It's not going to last forever. It's going to take years to do that case. I would get that process going regardless of the ban, but currently they're subject. You know, I'm sorry, if I, could, if I could just interject for a second. Conrad, let me ask you a question. While the, while the travel ban is not permanent at this time, right? If Trump wins re-election, this is something he's talked about taking away anyway. Yep. This is this was part of his platform, right? Chain yeah, well, this migration. Is, this is his chain. This is a perfect right. example of chain right. migration. Right. After so, he got his wife, after he got his wife's parents in this way, let's close the door behind them. Go right. Ahead. 
um, well, not just his parents, not just his in-laws, but his spouses, his two previous or yeah, t- two previous spouses. But my question is, if he wins re-election, um, I, and this is just my thought, I think a lot of people should file now anyway, while it's still an option, because if he yep. wins re-election, you know, and he completely stops this, yep. you want to, at, at the very minimum, at least have an argument, right? Because then at that point, you can make an argument on whether or not it's retroactive. Well, clearly, if you put your petition in, they took your fee and you got the petition going and then they changed the law, which by the way, Congress would have to do this one. Uh, but if they did that, um, they would probably still be grandfathered. I'm sure they'd have leftover visas uh, for people like that. So absolutely, they should get the application in. Absolutely. They, any Forget the travel ban. Now more than ever, people should be getting their petitions in. If you're not a US citizen and have been delaying you need to file your citizenship application to us. The ban doesn't affect a lot of citizenship processes. If you want to apply for your wife and you have a green card and she's stuck in Jamaica right now, you can't help her. But if you become a citizen, you can. So you really need to apply for citizenship if you're eligible. Plus, it'll allow you to vote. So hopefully we could vote this guy out. Plus, f- filing fees are going up real soon. You know, a lot of the, I mean, one of the unintended consequences, I'm sure, one of the unintended consequences of this ban is people aren't going to be applying as often as they might have previously. So what's that going to do? It's going to reduce the amount of money coming into the U.S. Immigration Service. USCIS is, fun- is self-funded. USCIS operates, they, they, their budget is based on user fees, the filing fees that you and we, that you and I pay, right? If you're not filing your application en masse, they're not getting, they're not collecting the money. Therefore, they're going to lay people off. Therefore, they're not going to have people to do these applications. I mean, it's just, it's a vicious circle. And it's, none of it, none of it is good. You know, and Squeeze, again, this is not getting easier by any stretch of the imagination. You know, we spoke about the Declaration of Self-Sufficiency, you know, (laughs) which is 18 pages. And that's a new application that needs to be completed if you are here in the United States. You know, again, I, I personally, I believe in life, you have people that are proactive and you have people that are reactive. Proactive are people who actually take advantage of the opportunities before them. Reactive people are like, oh, wow, what do I do now? You know, so it's, it's something to think about. Is what you I want to- if you, Let me, one more point, Squeeze. Um, you know, first off, we're, we keep saying Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump doesn't even know what we're doing right here. He doesn't even know what he signed probably. This is Stephen Miller. Stephen Miller is his immigration guru, all right? And Stephen Miller ha- is is just, uh, I don't want to call him a racist, although he is, uh, I don't want to say. Uh, but the fact is, uh, this is all Stephen Miller. This is his wish list. You know, what they've done, you know, all the talk is about the wall. Build that wall, build that fiscal structure, it'll keep people out. You know, the fact is, I think they've completed 200 miles of wall that already existed. They've just refurbished it. Right. But forget the wall. That's all nonsense. That's that's like he's like a magician. Sleight of hand. Hey, watch my right hand while you don't. But don't you're not going to notice what I'm doing my left hand with the right hand. They're claiming building the wall, all the PR, all the publicity is about building the wall. But behind the scenes, they're building an invisible wall. What they're doing, they're creating an obstacle course. They created this public charge rule, which you have to get around that. If you get around that, well, then if you apply for asylum, you're not going to be able to get work authorization now for a year instead of six months. Well, if you get around that, well, then you got to face the travel ban. So it's like an obstacle course, what they've done. It's like one of those things you watch on Saturday morning. You got to take the rope across the moat. Then you got to climb the wall. Then you got to jump through the tires. Then you got to swim through crocodile moats. You know, that's what they've done. That's exactly what they've done. We're laughing and we're kidding about it, but it's a fact. They, on the right, on the one hand, if they, they draw everybody's attention, ah, the wall, the wall, the wall. And on the other hand, all right, like a magician, like a very good magician, they're definitely doing behind the scenes, creating this invisible wall. And unfortunately with this latest travel ban, they pretty much succeeded. I mean, this is it. They basically shut the door. Wow. Are any other, are any other countries doing similar things like this right now? Of course not. Of course not. You know, this is crazy, man. I mean, once again, ladies and gentlemen, cruising with a case seller, we're speaking on uh, immigration and personal injury. You just heard from the managing partner, okay, uh, Conrad Pollock, and you can tell, you can tell he's really bent out of shape with this guy that they got in the White House screwing up our lives. But here's what, call this number, and I wanted to add while both attorneys were speaking, Nelson and Conrad, that, and, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, 
it is extremely important for the people out there who have not done anything in reference to finding out what they can do about their status if they're out of status that they call for a free consultation because those people who are normally those people who do something or attempt to do something or get themselves in the system like you noted earlier normally get benefits quicker than those who don't so rather than waiting around you know call the attorneys speak with them find out what can be done the number is 844-774 3529. That's 844 774 3529. Before we go off again, I, I want to ask two questions in one, and then we, we, we flip it over to personal injury. Um, question um, four here um, If you're a green card holder and get naturalized, what category does your unmarried over 21 switch to? That's one. Um, two, my parents got their green card visa approved earlier this year, but it got expired due to their flight being canceled. Does this ban affect them and what happens next? Gentlemen, that's it for the questions. Well, the second part, um, if they were approved, it sounds like they were approved and they just couldn't get on a plane, right. they're okay. Um, they could either wait. We've talked about this many times recently. Uh, they can either get on a plane and try their luck um, and come in with the papers, even though they might have expired. They probably will get in because this is a common situation. CBP at the airport is aware of it. And they probably will get in as a result, as long as they could demonstrate why they were delayed. Uh, on the other hand, um, they could wait to, for the consulate to reopen and go back and try to get their papers uh, reissued. But they should be fine. They shouldn't be subject to the ban. What was the first question again? If you're a green card holder and get naturalized, what category does your unmarried over 21 say? F1? If you're a right, green card holder... Right. If you're a green right. card holder and get naturalized, what category does your unmarried over 21 Switch to. He's become, that's Al Nelson's right. It's, he was he F was an F two B uh, when he was a permanent resident, but when he became a citizen, he became F one. First pref. Okay, F one. All right. Okay. Now I see what you're saying, Nelson. I didn't get it when you said F one. <laughs> I'm like what? First pref. The F one is right. family based. F one is family based first preference. Got you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That of course is the immigration attorney speaking on quite a bit. Make the call. I'm, I'm quite sure you all have questions that you may want to ask off the air. So call and get a free consultation now. The number is 844-774-3529. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. As long as it has to do with U.S. immigration, this law firm, PPID, can help you. 844-774-3529. Let's flip it over to my friend here, the shark, a.k.a. the case handler, the man who has settled well over $120 million for his clients. Adam Handler, ladies and gentlemen, if you get hurt in an accident, make sure you dial him to, at the same number, 844-774-3529. The same number I called him at last night around midnight and interrupted his sleep to tell him about my friend who wanted to speak with him, 844-774-3529, because she was in a car, she got T-boned, her car flipped over, slid on the street, and it's still upside and down right until now, all right? Guess who I, I said she got to go with? Adam Andler. So Adam will be speaking with her later on. 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. Adam Handler, the floor is all yours, my brother. Mute. I'm not, I'm not hearing you. You're, you're muted. He's muted. Sorry, I appreciate that. Sorry about right. that. Um, you know, a perfect example of you never know when disaster is going to strike. You know, it can happen at midnight. It can happen at noon. Um, but as long as you have our number saved, uh, you'll be in, in good hands if, God forbid, disaster strikes. Uh, again, our phone number is 844-PPID-LAW, 844-PPID-LAW. Um, you know, uh, there's so much bad news happening, and uh, we try to balance information, even though it's scary right now, but with, with good news, too. You know, uh, there are we do good things. We, there's bad situations that we turn uh, into positive situations. And particularly with the personal injury cases, you know, the outcomes uh, when it comes to uh, my particular practice are uh, money in your pocket and usually very significant money in your pocket, tax-free money in your pocket. Um, and today is Tuesday, which means what, Nelson? You're on mute. Testimon now you're on testim mute. Testimonial Tuesday. Testimonial <laughs> Tuesday. That's right. Everybody's on mute. Everybody's off mute. You lose track. But what's Testimonial Tuesday? Testimonial Tuesday is uh, 
is a post that we do on our social media platforms, both Instagram and Facebook. And obviously right now, if you're watching the show, you are on Facebook. So thank you for liking um, uh, the Case Handler page and, and subscribing to it. About, uh, later on, if you can safely do so, you know, check out our Instagram as well. Uh, we like to change it up and there's some things we post on Instagram that we don't post on, on Facebook and vice versa. So if you're able to later on, check out the Case Handler or of course, PPID Law. Um, and this is a case uh, in which uh, somebody came to us with a very scary situation. This was a, uh, a car accident uh, that resulted from a police chase. Um, a gentleman stole a rental vehicle and was uh, trying to elude the police. Uh, the police were chasing him. Uh, and uh, this guy just absolutely just took off and started going through red lights and ultimately got in a crash. Uh, with our client. Uh, the quote here, of course, uh, we love the quotes from people, um, you know, you know, after the case is done, just letting you know, and letting us know how we did. And uh, Lena, which is not her real name, but uh, she said the team was the team did great. My family referred me and now after going through the experience, I've already referred others to Adam. I know other people that have worked well with a uh, worked. I'm sorry, worked with this team, and they are so happy as well. Every case is different, so no promises on your results, but everyone I know is sure glad we chose the case center team. Thank you, Adam and Sandra. And who is Sandra? Sandra is uh, my, my longest running paralegal. She's the head paralegal at, the, uh, at our firm with respect to personal injury. Uh, we were at another firm years ago and worked together. And when I made my change, she was the first person I called to bring with me. Um, and we've done some amazing things. And I gotta tell you that, a good portion of that $120 million uh, that we've talked about uh, is, is as a result of her hard work as well. Now, this case went for 25,000, which was the maximum. Why was this the maximum? Because the car, I don't know if we put a, uh, a photograph of the car, I don't think she wanted it, but basically the car uh, that, uh, that hit her, the rental vehicle, uh, had insurance, but they disclaimed because the driver of that uh, car did not have permission to drive it. Obviously, he stole the vehicle. And if there's not what's called permissive use, the insurance company uh, will disclaim and not cover it. So we were able to tap into our client's insurance. Everybody out there, whether you know it or not, has what's called uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage for situations where it's either a hit and run or you're involved in a vehicle that has no insurance, or you're involved in it with a vehicle that has minimum insurance. And the minimum in New York is 25,000. Unfortunately, this client only had 25,000 uh, of uninsured motorist coverage on her end, but we did get her to the maximum amount. But if you're if you're a driver in the state of New oh, York- Hold on, Adam, hold on. So, so, so hold on, if you're saying, you're saying if someone hits you, if, if, if I'm driving down the road, right, and someone hits me, okay, and it's a terrible accident and that person takes off, then what happens? Your I want clarity on that. Your insurance kicks in. It's called uninsured motorist coverage. So if you get into an accident, again, a hit and run, or you get into an accident with an uninsured vehicle, instead of that vehicle paying you for your pain and suffering, your own insurance kicks in. But here's the problem. Not everybody knows about it. And, you know, they, when they sign up for their insurance policy, they only really worry about liability, right? They worry about if I cause an accident, how much will I be covered for? That could be 25,000, 50,000, 100,000, 250,000. If you cause an accident, that's what your insurance company will pay the other person. Right. What happens when you're in an accident with a hit and run? Right. or an uninsured vehicle, it falls back on your policy. And like, like Lena had, she only had the minimum, 25,000. So there was nothing else we can do. It's the minimum insurance, she had it. And the insurance companies, when you're signing up for this insurance, gotcha. don't really let you know about it. And what's really heartbreaking is that she could have had 50,000 or $100,000 worth of coverage on her end, only for a few dollars more every year. It's actually one of the cheapest components of your insurance. You know, people think, oh, if I have $100,000 of insurance, it's going to cost more money. Yeah, well, of right. course it will. That's yeah, your liability. It's a few bucks. Yeah, it's 10 but bucks here, 20 bucks there, 100 bucks here. 
Yeah. For UM coverage, it, it's not that significant, um, um, much more of an amount uh, mm -hmm. to have that extra protection. So if you have $100,000 of liability coverage, but $25,000 of uninsured motors coverage, you're basically saying, I care about the rest of the world. I don't care about myself when disaster strikes. So something to look, look into, uh, please, uh, if you're watching this right now, you know, take my advice, check out your insurance policy. Uh, you should at least at a minimum match your uninsured motorist coverage with your liability coverage. So if you have a hundred thousand dollars worth of liability coverage to pay other people, if God forbid you cause an accident, why shouldn't you have the same coverage afforded to you or your family members? If right. Did you're hit by an uninsured or hit and run vehicle? Absolutely. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the shark, AKA the case handler, very, 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 very instrumental individual when it comes to the Caribbean community and accident cases. I need for everyone to store his number right now, 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. And it's not just automobile accidents, slip and fall construction accidents, medical malpractice. Very important for you, ladies and gentlemen, to reach out to him by way of that number for the firm, which is PPID, and you're reaching the case handler at 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. I must remind everyone that this has been an attorney advertisement and prior results do not guarantee similar outcome. But, ladies and gentlemen, it would behoove me not to tell you to go with PPID. Call Nelson, call Adam Handler, call Conrad Missing Bollock, okay? Oh, yeah. At 844-774-3529. That's 844-774-3529. We will speak a lot more later on, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep it locked right here. As people walk behind my scenes in my show right here, exit them for just walking around in the background here, you know. Um, eight four four seven. You're cruising with the case handler background now, man. I know. I, you know, I'm, I got to get one of these up because you know, eight four four. Now I see why you got it up. Eight four four seven seven four three five two nine. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Any final words? Change your life. Don't don't uh, don't let this bad news knock you down. Do something about it. And I'm going to keep saying it and uh, I'm going to be adamant. And that's not only because my name is Adam, but I'm going to be adamant that unless you give us a call, you have no excuse. You want to be down in the dumps. You want to be depressed. Um, you may never see your, you may never see your, your, your family uh, for years to come unless you do what you need to do uh, to change your status here in the United States. So if, if family is important to you, if the American dream is important to you, if change in what's going on in this world, in our society is important to you, do something about it. 844-PPID-LAW. That's it. Become a, become a citizen. Vote. That's, that's what I say. There you that's go. That's all I can say. Thank you, gentlemen. Check us out tomorrow morning, ladies and gentlemen, 8.30 in New York on 93.5 WVIP-FM. Eastern time. And also, of course, you, know, uh, you can check us out right here on this Facebook page that you're watching, the respective Facebook pages. And remember to share it with as many people as you can right now. Linda Shaw, thank you so much for, of course, doing what it is that you do every day by sharing this with uh, many people out there. However, before I go, remember, it's not just about getting a free phone consultation from attorneys. Many of us believe that the attorneys are there and they're working for free. And basically, you just go and get your free consultation, you get on with your life. No, you actually need to have them represent you. Hire them. Let them do the right thing. Do not file your case yourself, ever, all right? Don't screw it up and then put yourself in a position that you may not be able to correct. 844-774-3529. Thank you all. Have yourself an amazing hot day. It's going to be crazy.